Hello, in this video we're going to use IK driver and realistic car controller together. We're going to use the avatar from IK driver and the vehicle controller from realistic car controller. Let's go ahead and start by opening the realistic car controller demo scene. We'll use the city demo scene. And once that's open we can drag the buggy vehicle prefab into the scene and we'll just copy the components, the transform components from the default vehicle for the scene and we'll paste them on our buggy so we're using the same starting position. And then we could go ahead and uh, just zoom in on this and we'll bring in the IK driver prefab, the avatar prefab, and we'll place him in the driver's seat. So we'll make him a child of the buggy prefab, and we'll need to scale him down a little bit. 0 0.58 is good for this vehicle. And then we'll move him into the position that we want him to be in. And this is about right. I'll make a few small adjustments. And then if you want later, you can uh, bring him closer to the steering wheel or attach the steering wheel transform from your vehicle and replace it with the current steering wheel transform that's part of this prefab rig. That way your steering wheel will rotate with the IK driver avatar. And at this point, uh, we're just going to go ahead and assign the parent rigid body to the IK driver avatar. And on the race driver object, we'll need to update the gear text that's being looked up. So RCC's gear text is called gear label. And we'll find it in this object hierarchy. Go ahead and we'll replace the string with gear label. And now we'll be able to properly look up the gear text so the avatar can shift. And the final thing we'll need to assign is a wheel collider and this is what's used for the steering wheel shake. Uh, it determines how fast the uh, wheel is rotating, the wheel's RPM. And at this point we're pretty much done. Uh, you can do some final testing. Go ahead and uh, press play. And let me shrink down these gizmos so we can see a little bit better what's going on. And as I press RCC input, uh, we'll see that the IK driver avatar uh, starts animating based on what we press. So whenever the gear text changes, the avatar will shift. And based on horizontal and vertical input, that will drive his left and right feet animation and his uh, hand animations for the steering. And you could also look at some of the other video tutorials to learn a little bit more about some of the customization options for the avatar. And if you have any other questions, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments section or feel free to send me an email or ask on the forum and I'll get back to you soon. But thanks for checking this out.